Commander, to finally identify our traitor, we must obtain the transmission codes of the Chapter Honor Guard. To do so, you must penetrate to the heart of the Blood Raven's firebase and destroy the stronghold of Captain Diomedes. This will trigger an automatic signal from his battle barge, from which I can gain the codes we need. Between us and those codes stand both the Honor Guard and our own brothers from the 3rd and 4th Companies. <laughs> The entire area is patrolled by our chapter brothers. They will fire on us without hesitation. Only stealth and non-lethal attacks can prevent bloodshed. Diomedes has established a perimeter of satellite bases. Field generators and automated tarantula sentry guns are standard issue for such temporary positions. Captain Diomedes adheres to the chapter's tactical doctrines. The Codex calls for a tactical feint when a satellite position is destroyed. Nearby forces fall back to a strong firing line, either drawing their attackers into the teeth of bolter fire or calling in artillery. If we destroy the field generators, we can use this to push through the perimeter without killing blood ravens. Proceed cautiously and target the field generators. We are here to recover data, not kill blood ravens.
traitor allegiance. I followed the orders of our chapter master, as any true blood raven would. And his cowardice forgives all? You are no space marine. You are barely human in the man. Commander, I have recovered the codes we needed. So, who is the traitor? The decoding rights needed to identify him are not yet complete. The codes did allow me to uncover additional data from the Judgment of Carrion, however. I believe I know where the Black Legion's true base of operations is hidden on planet Aurelia. These deaths will weigh on our souls until the end. There can be no absolution for the murder of our own brothers. Perhaps. But we can still destroy the enemy. A victory on Aurelia will not wash away the blood on our hands. No, we cannot erase our sins so easily. But we must fight on regardless. If we do not, then we simply compound our crimes. And the deaths of our brothers become pointless. Let us make for Aurelia then. Harness whatever guilt burns within you and turn it into rage against the traitors and demons ahead. And after that, should we live, we will carry on to another fight, and another, and another. It will be a crusade of penance. Assuming we survive. The Honor Guard's codes unlocked a great deal from the Judgment of Carrion's logic engine. This record from Apothecary Galen seems especially relevant. Librarian Kyrus grows more morose by the hour. He is a mighty asset against the things lurking in this ancient space hulk. But he does little to keep our faith strong. At morning prayers he recounted a great battle on a lost world named Aurelia. A terrible demon beset this planet, and summoned the mighty warp storms. Blood Ravens faced the demon in a terrible battle at a chapter keep. This should have inspired us all. But Kyrus made it a tale of woe. He described his brothers dying one by one to bind this demon, but called their sacrifice pointless. The fiendish creature, he said, was yet free. And somehow, even before Kyrus mentioned it, I knew this creature's name, Ulcare. A demon bound in the keep on planet Aurelia. Surely Eliphas seeks its release. I share your thoughts, Librarian. I can locate the Keep's remains if we return to Aurelia.
here a thousand years ago in this place. Moriah, mightiest of the Blood Ravens, battled the great Ulcar. With his dying breath, did Moriah stab at the heart of the Great One. What none could slay, he wounded. And so, noble Moriah died, with only his student Kairos left to mourn him. Weakened, the Great One could not resist Kairos. The hated student bound and shackled Ulcar. Now, that bondage ends. I am not the only one who will be discovered if it comes to that. Do you understand me, Galen? Knowledge is power, as you were also fond of saying. Thaddeus, what have you done? He has left the Retribution, Commander. His drop pod is headed for the surface. So young to bear the burden of a space marine. He will grow no older, Librarian. Commander, there is a recorded message waiting from Thaddeus. Do not follow me. I am not proud of the choices I made, but I did what was necessary. Kairos knew what I had done, and he let me carry on. He understood, even if you never will. <laughs> 